Okay guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, to import your uh, sniper and texture inside a sketchfab. After you export from uh, a subset printer, you will get uh, a zip file and if you extract here for example, you will have a texture here and you will have the model here. So as you see we have the metallic, normal, roughness, MSF, MBT occlusion and the base color here. So you, if you want to upload in Sketchfab, you can just uh, upload this zip file you don't need to extract because we already upload as a Sketchfab file. So if you just hold in the model here, go to your Sketchfab, just like this, drop it on Sketchfab and it's going to give you the information that you have in the zip file. Just upload the files and it it's going to uploading right now maybe it's gonna need a little bit for like like for example five minutes to upload but from here you can change the title for example let's uh, change it to sniper from here you can add description for example here you can you have a little like more options allow comments here you can just uh, change the category we have a weapon here you can just add a tags any tags you want and here from this area you can just uh, change if you want to download it if you if you want to let others download your project or if you if you want to put it as a free or even you can sell your product and your sniper from here and just choose the price that you want and here if you have additional files you can just uh, uh, upload it from here okay we need to wait until uploading finish then we need to go and i will show you how to go to edit uh, 3d setting for the sniper okay now the uploading finished we need to save change to your model here that we already did after we need to go to edit 3d setting and as you see we have a sniper ready with the texture right here and you can still go to materials here and you can still find your texture uh, like for example we have the base color here you can change it and you can if you want to manage texture you can just manage and add more texture and or delete you can do it from here but we have everything ready right now we can just go to first page and we can go to background from here and we can change the color from here like this just choose the color that you want okay now we can go to post process filters here and you can just enable and disable whatever you want and you still have options here to control maybe sharpness but we need to decrease a little bit the sharp just play with the filters here until you have your the resolution and now we can go to light and you can enable lights and the ground shadow from here for example we enable the lights up we can add a shadow for the light and you can change the location just like moving the uh, light and also we here add the shadow for the sniper for the ground you can also change the uh, the environment light from here and if you just hold alt in your keyboard and left in your mouse you can just change the direction of the light like this okay that's it for the light that's it for the material you can change the background from here as we said 
if you want you can just enable wireframe to just keep the wireframe like like this but we will disable we have the lighting here materials here post process now after we finish doing the uh, setting that we need just press add save view and it's gonna save the setting and save view you can now publish your uh, sniper and that's it but now before we need to do one more thing like as you see we import the sniper with a texture but we didn't import the uh, animation so let's go back to edit properties and if you we go to our file we have here we have here uh, an obg file this one with uh, without uh, animation but we have fbx file here that we export from blender uh, this one have animation so just drag and drop and re-upload or sorry just re-upload and you can just uh, drag and drop or you can just browse to go to your sniper here and just up select and re-upload with fbx file with the animation one and we need to wait a little bit until the sniper re-uploading okay now we have finished re-upload the model okay now we need to check the model and as you see we have a current uh, currently model and we have the re-upload model you can see the animation but if you just choose this one re-upload model now as you see we have the animation and the, you can see the animation that we have and also you can control it from here and also you can just uh, change the speed as you want and you can see all the animation from here that's it and that's how you can upload your model in sketchfab and also you can render from here and you can sell your model and you can also make your model free to download hope you enjoy and understand how to upload to sketchfab guys see you in the next video